we are in a town, I think we call it Viana around here. This little pizza place over here. We got some sandwiches in the courthouse here in the square. It's an old, old town here. But there's Danielle. We're at a little picnic table here by the uh, on the square. It's kind of a funny. I got the uh, zesty chef, right? The, it was zesty called, chef. And it's Italian beef and pepperoni and ham and onion and green pepper and ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of mozzarella cheese. And a lot of mozzarella cheese. I had to try it. So, Danielle got the veggie sub. Mm -hmm. with lots of ranch and cheese. With lots of ranch and cheese. But uh, anyway, we're on our way down to Lamb Between the Lakes. Well, time for ice cream. It happens. Look at the country castle over there. <laughs> so, we stopped here at the Kentucky Lake. We'll get a little video of us walking. Aww. Yeah, our sunset walk and stroll. So beautiful here. It is. Kentucky Lake. I love fun. these. I don't even know what they are, but... Yeah. We like insects. Fascinating. A little forked tail. Yeah, and with the sunset, and there are so many of them. Yeah. Yeah, and the moon's up, too. Oh, it's so cool. Toenail moon. Yeah, I got a toenail moon. <laughs> Those some cool bluffs there. Oh, look at that thunderstorm, Daniel. I just saw lightning strike up through that thunderhead there, too. And it was a night just like this when the river monster from Kentucky Lake ate all the people at the pavilion. <laughs> gazebo <laughs> the night of the gazebo massacre at Kentucky Lake good morning good people make a little coffee here at our lakeside camp Whew. It's leaking. We do pour over coffee. At home, we use a stainless steel reusable filter and we wash it and accidentally brought this. You kind of have to have a sink to wash this. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's great at home. But when we travel, we usually switch to paper filters for convenience. Don't blame us for the world's pollution problems. It's a coffee filter. put our porch up check it out tell me what you think <laughs> just call this tarp I think out. it's great Danielle likes it hey the more shade the better right that's the name of the game this time of year so some spring clips and an old tarp that's how you put a porch on an old church van <laughs> you could put some duct tape on it if you had any that might help hold it down might duct tape them together. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting a couple straps of duct tape to, as supports, you know, but support. you don't want to overbuild anything. We're, we're, uh, we're underbuilders. <laughs> I think it's more cost effective to underbuild it once or twice. But shade is the name of the game. Just call me Shades. <laughs> Cool kid, shade. We were just looking at a van awning online. No, we weren't, but I was <laughs> bragging. I was bragging about, you know, how much one would cost when this tarp. And these clips, we're looking at, you know, about $15, not $1,500. So uh, we're just pinching pennies here. Getting ready to go for a swim. You'll go for a swim, Danielle? Yes, please. Mm hmm. Swim time.
visitor center. Got our map, got our pine cone. Now we're gonna go Ouch. Have, have lunch. Ow, it's pokey. <laughs> hate that pine cone. Kill that pine cone. We hate pine cones. It now. is pokey pine. Pokey pine cone. Hi guys, I'm Pokey Pine. All right, who wants to go and have a picnic? Yay, picnic. <laughs> So it's the afternoon, and guess who decided to go swimming again? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We uh, welcome to summertime. Yeah, summertime's here. So we're back over at Kentucky Lake. We went to the visitor center a while ago, you know, and got the map of the area. And so that really kind of spelled things out because there's three different types of camping here. There's a uh, dispersed camping, which is like for backpackers, and there's a uh, what they call this basic camping, mm -hmm. where they just have areas that are mowed with parking lots and sometimes. Uh, toilet and boat launch and uh, that's 10 bucks for a three day up to three day pass and each person about older than 18 has to have one so because me and Danielle are camping together we still have to each have the permit so we bought them online on her phone and uh, that was it you know it just took a few minutes and so we're good for three days you can camp for 14 days here but the swimming's good and we only live uh, a couple hours away or less so we always look for these kind of spots that have good clean water to swim in and free camping, but it's cheap. So it's not, it's got a four out of five so far. But anyway, we got our sunscreen on. We've waited the required 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes for it to soak in. And now we're gonna go for a dip, but we haven't eaten in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> and there's no lifeguard on duty swimming at your own risk. Joe likes to follow the rules. Oh yeah. Well, because I just got an eighty dollar ticket last week. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so it's a lot warmer than the spring water. But the uh water down low is cold. I always like that. So there's our view from our camp. We're still at Kentucky Lake. The spot is pretty nice and a good swimming hole. And uh, it's all in the basic camping that our permit calls for. I'm making a little bit of uh, chicken and broccoli curry with some rice. Mmm, it's gonna be good. And we're gonna have a view of Kentucky Lake sunset side the land between the lakes you get sunrises on Lake Barkley and sunsets on Kentucky Lake Got some rice. Yum, editing uh, the next episode and a raccoon came up and we noticed somebody had thrown their minnow bucket out and I think he was eating the minnows that they threw out and I thought he was going to get in the van he was kind of behind the van so I went up there and scared him off and now I feel bad because he was up here eating that bait and it was probably a good thing for a raccoon to clean up all the mess out here so it was, was cute it was a cute little raccoon <laughs> and I yelled get out of here get out of here <laughs> And it got scared and ran down by the lake. And uh, he ran off, and now I feel terrible. Oh, so He'll um, be back, I bet. I think I'm going to leave him a Coke and a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for that little bastard. Good morning, good people. Cue the bird. Yeah. <laughs> Waking up. 
lakeside in our 1995 lake cabin. <laughs> Kentucky Lake cabin number one. We, uh, we've been calling the van the Blue Whale, but the other night Danielle renamed it a proper name. <laughs> Old Big Girl. Old Big Girl. <laughs> the van has been renamed Old Big Girl. So we're lakeside. We have been swimming and eating and swimming and eating. That's all we did yesterday. But really we just came down to land between the lakes to explore it and find all the nooks and crannies, the kind of places we like to be. <clears throat> and there's nobody out here on this point. There's a couple boat trailer and truck, you know, there's a boat launch nearby, but they just came and went, dumped their minnows and left, you know. And a raccoon did come back and eat all the minnows. I didn't, I forgot to make his peanut butter sandwich and Coke. But maybe I'll get that done before we go. But we're just gonna explore, we're gonna do a little swimming. We're having our coffee. Last night we uh, did a little editing and watched the moon. We love our office out here, you know, it's a great place to work and do all our fun stuff. Just cruising around exploring the land between the lakes we went all the way to the south end and you know across the Tennessee River and got some gas and some barbecue and uh, and now we're just cruising these uh, numbered roads out here and we're headed up to the uh, bison and elk scenic loop drive thing we're going to do that and we've uh, been seeing some pretty flowers and uh, a lot of berries right now blackberries and the juniper berries, there's trees just loaded down with juniper berries, uh, the eastern red cedar, that is. And uh, saw some deer out in the field. Uh, the bucks are growing their antlers and they're uh, getting velvet on them, you know, and all that. And uh, we're cruising this back road and <laughs> where we camped last night, Danielle found a turtle shell. It's a, it looks like a red ear slider shell. and. Uh, it's not, it's pretty fresh. It's got a strong smell to it. <laughs> I, I washed it, you know, and cleaned it out the best I could. She got the bones out of it and everything, but uh, it smells in here. And uh, <laughs> so we got, uh, you know, we've got some swimming, some wet swimming trunks and shoes, and we've got some funky smells in here. We got our little bucket and toilet thing, you know. <laughs> but collecting cool stuff, having fun. I like pretty things. She likes pretty things. It is a very pretty shell. All right, guys. So we, you know, we got this dead turtle in here, right? And uh, it really stinks. So I want to know, what do you guys do to control the stink in your van? What do you van lifers do when your girlfriend picks up a dead turtle? <laughs> uh, I need to know in the comments. Please let me know. I don't know. It's been pretty fun here, but uh, I'm glad everybody is enjoying the videos and subscribing to the channel and everything. And, Glad to have you. And, uh, thanks a lot. You know, tell your friends and spread the good news.
found camp. We're back at uh, Pisca Point. All right, Danielle. Yeah. That's where we camped uh, night before last. And it's around the edge of the water, and it was easy to get to. The other one was packed. We're back at our favorite spot. No. Favorite little spot. No, nah, it's, pre it's a pretty good one, though. And our permit is good for tonight. And it expires, so we're going to get our money's worth. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, good people. A little bit cloudy this morning. It rained last night and early this morning. Cooled down quite a bit. I got a uh, gig tonight, playing a birthday party. And we've been swimming a lot. I got water in my ear. I can't hear out of this ear right now. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll just turn the speakers up. We're about, we're almost two hours south of home base, and then uh, the gig's almost two hours north of there, so we've got some driving to do. But we've had fun down here at LBL. So yeah, we're plan I'm playing a birthday party. Tonight, we're gonna take you guys along and uh, let you see what it's like to be at one of Banjo Joe's shows. shows. And uh, it'll be fun, it's gonna be a <coughs> surprise birthday party for a long time, a uh, friend and fan of mine. So anyway, we're going to be partying on the river on their property and uh, celebrate his birthday. It's going to be a good time. You get to see what the Banjo Joe show does for a living. Okay, so we made it back to the house. Got my sound equipment and uh, cords and my good banjo and everything loaded up. A man the other day, in the van, walking down, down the road, the gig. His shoulders sagged and his back was bent and his head was hanging low. I turned my pickup truck around and I pulled off to the side. I asked him if he was going far. And here's what he replied. Some barrels, we're going on a boat ride. <laughs> we're always at the river. I money, I can't hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. the oh, yeah. 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 oh, my luck would change. No bullet for the gun, no yes, yes, That was so fun. That was fun. Good one. We might be river rats and don't even know it. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> we go from river to river. Like to help this man <laughs> All the time. I think it's official. In any way that I could. Give him a couple of dollar bills. Treat him like I should. So many Bug bit me. You gotta take a Kentucky damn road to get to the damn lake. We're just gonna smoke dope and drink coffee. So, blah 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 blah. Talking, talking, content, content. He's a fatty. Oh. 